Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to our topic. Today, uh, we are going to talk about the Hexon event in China. Uh, today, we have three speakers, please. Yeah, uh, let us to introduce uh, us one by one at the first. It says, this is a friendly from Huawei. Uh, and also, come on. This is a Huawei from uh, Tenshi. Yeah, Tencent. Uh, I'm Jianfeng from Intel. Yeah, we three people will talk, uh, talk about uh, uh, our Hexon event today. Yeah, I did not. Uh, in the last uh, several years, uh, in the last uh, four years actually, uh, in China we have uh, hold, uh, we have hold uh, eight times the Kaixiang event uh, in uh, China, uh, eight different uh, cities. Yeah, it's a very uh, very uh, efficient and uh, happy event in uh, for the OpenStack community for the developers. Uh, the time we can see uh, the first time we uh, hold it in. Uh, uh, 2015 April, yeah, and uh, the latest one is uh, the, in the this year's spring time. Yeah, this this table is for the data. Uh, we uh, uh, how many we we calculate the how many bug fixed uh, in the hackathon in the eight six hackathon event and uh, how many engineers attended and uh, how many company uh, contribute. Uh, we can see from the uh, in the history we have. Uh, uh, totally, uh, we have uh, uh, eight, 817 bug fixed for the for all the uh, for all the related projects in OpenStack, uh, and also we totally have 60, uh, 26 company in China have uh, intended, uh, have uh, attended this event, and uh, for the engineers, we can see we have. Uh, uh, the first time it's only 20 engineers, but uh, uh, after that, uh, more and more people have uh, attended this event. The latest uh, one uh, of this year, uh, there's totally 102 engineers to attend the uh, event. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, uh, this picture is also some numbers uh, for the all the uh, in the. From the history of the Hexon event, for all the eight uh, times, we have over, we have totally three platinum member uh, company uh, have supported, and uh, for the gold members have uh, fourteen. Uh, the gold member, I mean, the, in the uh, in the Obstack Foundation, the gold members, yeah, and the corporate sponsor has uh, eight company, and uh, organization. Uh, and maybe the organizing in not uh, the, some company is just from the, from the for example the government uh, organizations uh, uh, or, or some or other some uh, community uh, uh, from the from the uh, from industry. Yes, uh, totally eleven organization has uh, contributed the contributed the resource and uh, the people to to uh, to to make it. And also, we uh, among all the attendees, we have uh, two super user award uh, customers for the OpenStack. Yeah, it's a very uh, promising number. Yeah. And uh, is it, uh, uh, this page talk about uh, how uh, the Hexon event in China? Maybe it's not a direct influence. Maybe it's an indirect influence. Uh, along 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 with uh, our Hexon event, the 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 the, the OpenStack upstream compute contribution number has uh, also changed uh, uh, when release by when release. We can see uh, from the from the from uh, from the data from the latest six releases. Uh, in the first time, we can see uh, the totally in global in the world, the 166 company uh, to con have contributed the uh, OpenStack upstream. And uh, from them, there's 18 companies, and the company uh, from China and more and more. In the latest uh, release, we can see uh, now the global number is became 175, and and uh, from China, uh, we can see the percentage has increased a lot. It's uh, 45 companies from Chinese uh, has has a lot of contribution to the OpenStack upstream. Yeah, that's uh, my. Part all about the uh, data and uh, the numbers. The next, yeah, is Fred. 
Okay, thanks. Uh, thanks, Jianfeng. Uh, okay, now I would share some pr uh, general procedure about the hexagon. I, I hope, hopefully, you are going to run in the same hexagon events in your country. So I, I think from the figure you can see, it basically it is very typical event management or event operation procedure. We have the every year we need to have the plan, and then we have even each for each event because every year we have two or three. So we need for event we have a plan, and then we need to do the promotion and run it. After that, we review and uh, get some feedback from the events, and then uh, as a feedback to our next year's event, the next event is plan. Uh, the, the, okay, the first phase, the yearly event is quite important because you know we need the money from different countries, or organizations. And so without the yearly plan, we don't have the budget. So. Basically, we are trying to uh, make sure how many, to decide how many events we will have and uh, how much we need, how much money we need. This is uh, basically the information. And uh, for each event, it's uh, a little detailed because we need to know which city we, we need to have the event in. You know, uh, uh, because China is a large country and uh, the, the, we need to consider the engineers' distribution, where the engineers have, uh, are there. and so. We need to confirm the city and the time and how long it will need, and also we need to get the defined scope and how many resources we need so that we can prepare in advance. Uh, regarding the skill and the budget, that's okay because we have the yearly plan. Okay, uh, but but we have the our technical team need to decide what kind of activity we will have in, during the two or three days. Uh, in the promoting part, basically. Uh, we will prepare all the logistics, and also our technical team need to uh, use all the uh, community, uh, communi uh, communication tools to communicate with different people, like uh, uh, to, to involve the, the engineers from different uh, community or different countries or different uh, uh, organizations. Uh, of course, sometimes we can invite some customers because they can uh, from there, uh, from them, we can get the requirement, and we we need we can get more uh, how our product or our technology will be used by in customers. Uh, the the, uh, the fourth phase is how to run it. I think that typically we group the uh, the attendees by technologies or communities or tasks, and then they will work together and, and uh, have the discussion uh, dependent, uh, independently. And after that, we will summarize the output, and also uh, usually we will give some prize to encourage the people to join the event the next time. Uh, and then, sorry, this is a table. Typo. This is phase five. We need to review and uh, get the feedback from different people, and uh, then we can optimize the next. For example, next year, uh, we are going to uh, change the grouping idea, uh, grouping way. Uh, this year we group the people by technologies, but next year we are going to group the people that by ideas. They can have their ideas, and then we can group the people uh, across the technologies of projects. Okay, so next. Yeah. Okay, at the end, just uh, I present um, just a, a small summary about what we have done since the last uh, eight hexen and what we plan for next year. Uh, first of all. Uh, the first thing that we figure out is just uh, there is a gap, especially a cultural gap, between developers from China and developers from other countries. And sometimes develop, uh, Chinese developers have work very hard, but uh, they don't know how to present their ideas and they do, don't know how to do the commit to the, to the community. And th this is the reason why we organize as, ma as many as Hexen as possible. So the reason that, okay, they can be well integrated to the community and know the whole procedure, how we can do the com upstream contributions to the OpenStack Foundation. This is the first thing. And the second thing, just uh, we like to change the scope of the Hexen. Uh, we, we call it the OpenStack Hexon since it works only for the OpenStack projects. And now for from the next year, we will call it Open Source Hexon. Means that not only for OpenStack, but also for other projects, just like uh, Kubernetes, Harbor, Ceph, and other open source projects, we will all bring together. The same reason as we changed the, the name of the summit here. 
we, we try to make it more open at large scales for other projects. Since now, for, for most of the users of open source, we will use all this software together. And for the Hexen, we will do the same thing. We bring all the software together, not only for the eyes, but for the paths. Also, we can, we, we'd like to bring some AI projects, open source AI projects together. I think that's all. Thank you. And uh, just to show you last time the photo, and this is our hexagon and, and many participants. Okay, thank you.